Documents from Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools. WBTV has now learned why a Harding University high school teacher was fired this school year. These documents allege a teacher had sex with a student on that school's campus. WBTV's Brandon Hamilton is live from Harding tonight. And Brandon, you've been digging into those documents. What have you learned? Well, Siobhan, first, this alleged crime took place in August of last year. That's nearly a month after this teacher started here at Harding University High School. Now, in those same documents, it also says the victim was under the age of 16 at the time. Every parent should need to know this is not nothing to have. Reaction Tuesday from this grandparent learning a former teacher at Harding University High School is accused of having intercourse with a student this school year. Her grandson is set to be a sophomore at Harding in the fall. School's supposed to be where you go get to learn and have to worry about. According to documents obtained by WBTV back in August, then 24 year old Tyvon James is accused of sending a female student under the age of 16 a picture of his genitals and quote engaged in intercourse with the student on school property. Records show James was hired by Charlotte Mecklenburg schools on July 5th, 2022. His duties also included Harding's band. The alleged crime took place on August the 12th almost a month later. He was suspended in September and eventually arrested in October. CMS fired James on December the 13th. Last month, a grand jury indicted James on indecent liberties with a child and indecent liberties with a student. Both are felonies involving the same student. Tuesday, WBTV went by an address listed for James. When asked about the allegations. Any comments? Yeah. No, sir. James also told me he has an attorney. According to court records, he was last represented by a public defender. And Jamie Siobhan, CMS tells me that these banned students were notified about the firing in a private meeting. Now, as far as any kind of public comment, CMS tells me the district is not offering one right at this time. Now, James, next court date is set for August. Reporter live in Charlotte, Brandon Hamilton, WBTV on your side. Brandon, thank you. Back to our first alert weather day.